What's up guys, Chris Jordan here and welcome back to the channel. It's Chris Jordan TV and in this video I'm going to be talking about the biggest shooting myth that may be holding your three point percentage back or your shooting percentage back by a long shot. And this myth is taught by so many people in the world simply because everybody believes these myths. Shooting myth is literally holding you back from being the best shooter you can be. Let's get to it in this video. Okay guys, so in this video, I'm going to be going over the biggest shooting myth in basketball. You're probably wondering what it is, how's it holding you back from being the best shooter you can be, and it's this one simple thing that every coach, trainer, even NBA players teach other players to do when shooting. This, this thing right here, this gap area. Now a lot of people, a lot of basketball players, coaches, trainers, and everything, they teach you to have this gap area right here when shooting the ball. I've seen videos of Steph Curry doing it, Klay Thompson. You even, I think you can even find Pistol Pete teaching it on his old videos. Uh, but they teach to have this gap right here, so whenever you shoot the ball, you shoot with just your fingers. They say don't be palming the ball or anything like that. And this is one of the biggest shooting myths possible because even though they teach th these things, this is the exact opposite of what they actually do. If you slow down a video of Klay Thompson, uh, Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving, or any great shooter who shoots the ball, you will literally see their hand on the ball like this, underneath the ball like this, literally. Not like this, like you're taught to believe, like this. And it's actually pretty funny because my dad used to teach me, like my dad taught me how to shoot before I actually knew how to shoot. And he would always tell me to have my kind of my palm on the ball a little bit and leave like a little small gap, but he would never tell me like, have a gap, there should be a gap between, uh, obviously your palm and the ball. But he always showed me, he wa He always told me he wanted to have enough palm on the ball to shoot the ball. And it wasn't until recently, like two or three months, I started actually focusing on having more palm on the ball. And I noticed my shots were cleaner. I had more power on my shots easily. I could shoot further than I already could shoot. And my shot was way more consistent compared to shooting it like this and only uh, and having a gap between the ball and my hand. So why is this a big myth in basketball? Well, the first part is, is because the greatest shooters ever, uh, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, heck, I think you could even, I haven't checked any pictures of Ray Allen, but you probably see Ray Allen, Kyle Korver, uh, Pistol Pete, Kyrie Irving, all of these great shooters uh, especially Steph Curry and Klay Thompson because I've seen videos of them talking about you know keep your elbow in uh, keep the gap in uh, make sure there's a gap between the ball and your hand although they teach this they don't actually do this when they shoot and the reason this is so important because you actually lose power when you actually just focus on having just your fingers on the ball uh, you lose power and you have to use more of your legs compared to if you have your more of your palm or your hand on the ball you'll have more power in your shot and your, actual, your shot will actually come out more consistent. So for example, what I noticed when, compared to when I just had my fingers like this with a gap in between, an obvious gap in between, compared to how I shoot now, which is basically like less of a gap. You could probably barely, barely see it, but less of a gap. I noticed that my shots roll off my fingers way more easier when there's less of a gap compared to more. And it feels more smoother. It doesn't feel like I'm hitching anything lately hitching any shots or anything. That is literally one of the biggest myths in basketball because literally I've improved my shooting percentage by a ton. I think I've heard uh, Micah Lancaster talk about this on his YouTube channel as well. It's literally one of the things that's literally holding you back from being a better shooter. You have actually, you actually have more control over the ball when, when you have more of a palm on the ball. And I'm not saying palm the ball like this, you know, like this. I'm saying just have more of your palm on the ball compared to just having it like this and everything. But I know people are going to ask me, well, what about players like Jordan, Kobe, Kawhi, uh, Kevin Durant, when they shoot, because they shoot more so, uh, they, they kind of do have more of a gap, and obviously they use more of their fingers or whatever. The reason that they have more of a gap right here in between their uh, hand, obviously their hand and uh the ball is simply because when they're shooting mid-range shots you have to actually raise over for one you have to actually raise over defenders and with mid-range shots you actually kind of have to have a little more touch at least in my uh opinion 
you have to have a little bit more touch with your fingers and on the ball shooting touch is what i'm referring to when shooting a mid-range jumper for example i've talked about this in the last videos when i shoot a three-point shot my three-point shots are more one motion shots for example if i'm on a three-point line there is no me holding the ball in the air or holding the ball right before i get to the jump and then shooting it's more so as soon as i get it about right here it's basically gone like literally chin level is probably gone already now mid-range shots if I have to shoot over people or I have to shoot a contested jumper, I have to keep the ball up, but I also have to make sure that I have more uh, control with my fingers when shooting the ball compared to palming it. Cause I know if the ball is more so on my hand, uh, I know I may overshoot the mid range shot. So I try to use more so my fingers and kind of like flick it a little bit, make sure it come off my fingers smooth and everything, but I kind of flick it a little bit to give it more touch cause I'm shooting a mid range jumper. And that's what you'll notice with Kawhi, uh, Kobe, and MJ. They use more so the fingers to, uh, obviously it's rolling off their fingers, but they're kind of flicking it with more shooting touch compared to a normal three. Because with a normal three, they have more of their palm on the ball. But that's literally one of the shooting myths that's literally holding you back from being a better shooter. Now, the, like I said, the reason why I recommend you at least try it try to have more of a palm on the ball not your entire palm but more of a palm on the ball because it's going to increase your shooting consistency it's going to increase your shooting power and it's just going to make you a better shooter all around in my opinion uh but you also have to find your comfortable range of how much palm is too much on the ball especially when you're doing this and you're just starting to uh start putting your palm on the ball you need to kind of get comfortable with it, especially if you never like try shooting with more palm on the ball. So for example, when I first started trying to apply more palm on the ball in live games, I had to kind of like push the ball back into my hand a little bit to kind of get in the habit of doing it. And once once I got in the habit of doing it, everything felt way smoother compared to like trying to force it or whatever. It's kind of a weird feeling, but once you get comfortable doing it and you actually see test and see if it's going to help you improve your shot i really recommend you start applying it because literally the best shooters in the world use their palm on the ball i don't care what they tell you if they tell you they have a gap they're lying to you because you can just pull up a picture on google of steph curry clay thompson teaching it i mean pull up the video of steph curry clay thompson teaching the gap but then if you see a picture of them shooting a live picture like a still image picture of them they'll be more so like this with a small gap on it but that's it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a ton. Also, if you want a free Ultimate Score workout, you can click the link down in the description below to get your Ultimate Workout. And if you want to join my membership, my Unguardable Club membership, where you get personal coaching to me, exclusive content and videos to help you get better and become harder to guard on court, click the Ultimate Score link down in the description below. And you can get a free trial to the Unguardable Club program. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.